Okay, the question asks, a person travels in a car uh, from one city to another with different constant uh, speeds between pairs of cities. She drives for 60 minutes at 70 kilometers per hour, 11 minutes at 90 kilometers per hour, and 35 minutes at 35 kilometers per hour, and spends 20 minutes eating lunch and buying gas. We are supposed to determine the average speed for the trip and determine the distance between the initial and final cities in the route. So what I want to do is uh, we can we can do average speed first. So average speed is um, actually we'll, we'll do the distance because we have to do distance to find the average speed. Um, so the way the uh, the distance works is we can set up a graph and this will be our time our units in time and this will be our speed or we can say velocity um, this act just uses speed but uh, we could say um, velocity so what she does is she drives for we'll say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 minutes at this rate of and we'll do the same thing over here is uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 so um, these are uh, velocities in miles per hour and kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour. So she travels 70 minutes. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. She travels this far up. She travels at that speed for this amount of time. And then she changes her speed for the next 11 minutes. So from 70 uh, to 81, she changes her speed to 90 miles per hour and then she comes back and changes her speed uh, for 35 minutes so um, we'll have to put a little squiggly in here this would be 30 40 um, and she does that at 35 miles an hour which would be about right here and then she comes back and she or she uh, she stops traveling at all and spends another 20 let's call that 20 10 20 she spends another 20 minutes at zero okay now what we know is when we construct these things we can use the area under our curve which our curve is the part that we drew right here this is our curve the area under that curve is the distance traveled and the reason it's the distance traveled is uh, basically because we can we say that um, distance over time equals velocity so what we have is we have our velocity charted against our time so if we wanted to, to find out the distance we would simply times velocity times this distance over time by the time and it would cancel the time units out and we would end up having distance as our answer. If we So if you take velocity times time equals distance or displacement. And, and so whenever you have, let's say this was our, our time and this was our distance, if I multiply the two together, what I get is uh, length times width, which is the area of a rectangle or a square. And so I can continue doing all these length times width measurements for each different box that we've created, and I can find our total distance. And so let's go ahead and do that. So um, what we had for the first leg of the trip was um, the time was 60 uh, minutes, 60 minutes, and our our velocity was 70. Uh, 70 kilometers per hour. So 60 minutes equals one hour. So I know during that leg of the trip, without even thinking about it, she drove 70 kilometers. 70 kilometers. For 11 minutes, the next leg, uh, time equals 11 minutes, and uh, velocity equals 90 kilometers. Per hour, so we've got to change our our um, minutes here. This is M I N minutes, 11 minutes. We got to change um, 
kilometers per hour to kilometers per minute. And the way you do that is if you have 90 kilometers over one hour, you can times that by um, one hour contains 60 uh, 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Actually, an easy way to do this is just to convert our minutes into hours and then just multiply that. And so what we, <laughs> I'm not thinking, what we do is we'd say we have 11 minutes over 1. And then we would say we have in, in 1 hour we have 60 minutes. And then you would cancel out your minute units. It, you would have 11 hours divided by 60. And that equals uh, uh, approximately 0 0.18. That's not a problem. That's exactly. It equals exactly 0 0.18. So we're going to times 90 kilometers over hours. 90 kilometers over one hour times 0 0.18 hours over one. My hours cancel out. And I get 90 kilometers times 0 0.18 and that equals 16.5 kilometers. So the next leg of the trip was 16.5 kilometers. These are our two legs so far, and now we will go and look at the next one. Okay, so I actually hit the pause button without realizing it on the recording, and so I, I know that I was at least up to this point whenever I was explaining this thing, uh, that the distance equals the area under the curve, so we're going to quickly go through this, uh, that way I make sure you have everything. The first leg of the trip was 60 minutes, and 60 minutes equals one hour, so uh, we can take the velocity times the time, and you get set that you went 70 kilometers on the first leg of the trip. The second part of the trip was 11 minutes, and it went. Uh, it was uh, the speed was 90 kilometers per hour. So we converted 11 minutes into 0 0.18 hours, and we did that by um, 11 times uh, 11 over 1 minutes times 1 hour over 60 minutes. The minutes canceled out. 0 0.18. Then you multiply your your hours times your kilometers per hour you ended up with 16.5 kilometers as your answer. Then the last leg of the trip, the amount of time was 35 minutes, and we converted the 35 minutes into hours by 35 times 1 hour over 60. It equaled 0 0.58. We multiplied our 0 0.58, our, our time, by our velocity to get the distance and our distance on that last leg was 20.42. So now we have to add up our 70 kilometers plus our 16.5 plus our 20.42, and we get a total of 106.92 kilometers total uh, total kilometers uh, traveled. And, th and then, it, so that is our total kilometers. That's the answer to the second part of the question. But the first part says determine the average speed of the trip. So we have to divide this by the total amount of time. So the first leg of the trip was 60 minutes. And then we, uh, the second leg of the trip was 11 minutes. And then the third leg of the trip was 35 minutes. And we know that 20 minutes were spent eating. So that time will go into that, that dead time of zero uh, velocity. We'll go into av uh, zero speed. We'll go into figuring out the average speed. So when you add those up, you get that it took 126 minutes, approximately um, two hours. But we got to convert that into hours in order to divide that um, and get a kilometers per hour. So the, the, first, the first step is to take that number and divide it by 60, which is what we've been doing, and it is 2.1, which we would, th we would think 120 minutes is two hours, 60 minutes is one hour, so we would, we would expect to get something close to two. So then we divide are 106.92 by the hours and we get the average speed of 50.91 kilometers per hour.